Warning, the following game which you're about to view is rated M for Mature due to blood and gore and violence. Also, this is a horror game. There will be plenty of scary moments. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is TailsFan109 and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Remake Blind. Last video, I continued exploring the mansion and... At least what I can explore, it looks like there's still one or two spots I actually cannot reach. Which is concerning to say the least. <clears throat> that room near the courtyard area, I don't have some kind of a Spencer family crest and... <coughs> excuse me. Need that. And then there's that, that other room by the main hall that I don't know if I can do anything with. How is there something in that hallway over there that I missed? I don't know. S anyways, I do have the wolf and eagle crest, so I don't know if I'm supposed to actually take those out already. I used a lot of shotgun shells. Goodness. That's not good. I also have an MO disc. I'm... Okay, I do need the battery right now, actually. We can save the metals. I'm assuming I'll still need those specifically for the elevator to the lab. So, yeah, I guess this is good for now. Note, I could still possibly run into hunters on the way to wherever it is I'm trying to go. Hmm, what's the best way to travel right now? Hmm... Well, we'll figure it out. I killed the hunters in this room, so that's fine. I think this might be the safest course of action. I think. Oh, fudge! I forgot all about that one! And there's still a zombie here! Okay! Maybe that wasn't the safest course of action to take. Okay, there's still a zombie in that room, so that's nice. Oof. Am I in yellow or orange? Orange. Okay. I did not remember that I should kill that zombie there. And I'm surprised it's already been long enough for him to transform. Whoops. Okay, while I'm over here... Can I actually go in here yet? Uh, shoot. I think I actually can go in there right now. Which means I really should before going towards the courtyard area. Alright, so let's just get to the other item box, I guess. There shouldn't be anything to worry about on the way over, so we're good. I need to get more shotgun shells. I, I didn't even realize how many I used. I've only got 19 spare ones left. And these crows don't seem to be bothered by my running, so that's good. Yeah. I guess they only get disturbed if you mess up the puzzle or actually try and shoot them. Alright, so we should probably go in that area first while we're actually still in the mansion. Seriously, I don't remember those windows being open in the beginning of the game, but maybe I just didn't check. It could be that the hunters actually opened them themselves to get in here, which would make sense as to how they're suddenly in that area. Actually, what is the shape of this? No. This doesn't look octagonal to me. I could always try, though. 
But again, these probably aren't it. Still, it's two, so... Where is my... There they are. I could at least try. Who knows? This probably isn't what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I am actually supposed to go through the standard courtyard setup. Might be the case. I don't know for sure. I mean, the crests were used for a different reason this time around. I don't think it's irrational to assume the same would go here, except these metals are not octagonal shaped. So again, this probably isn't going to do it. These probably still are meant to gain access to the lab. I can't confirm that. <sighs> and who knows how horrible it'll be down there. Hopefully it's just one room. Alright, let's go. This way. Is this the right idea, or is this just a waste of my flipping time? Eh, yeah, waste of my flipping time. These are still used for the laboratory, which just begs the question, what do I need to get in there? I guess once I find something octagonal shaped, I'll find out. So I guess I should focus on entering the courtyard proper. The way we did in the original. So I need both the battery and the crank. Because we're going to have to rise the water again. I remember these girls really scaring me at first. Because they sound so different from the PlayStation trilogy. So different. You know, I'm going to kind of miss when I'm actually done with like this in Resident Evil Zero and have to go back to the ridiculously stupid stories. I don't suppose any of these will. Yeah, okay. It sounded stupid in my head. I just wanted to find out. How many full heals have I got left? I hope I'm not running too low. There's the one first aid spray I'm carrying right now. What else? The first aid spray should be all I need right now, but it, it would be nice to know what else there is to get. Well, how much I have, I should say. Hello, item box! What do you hold for me? That and that. What, what about heals? What other heals have I got? One. I don't think that's a full heal. Two. Okay, I still have th four f other full heals in here. Five and a small... Okay, I don't have to worry for some time. What about this, though? I'm still not sure what to do with this. <coughs> Will I ever find out what to do with this? <coughs> I don't know. This jewelry box is killing me. I'm sure we'll find, like, a pearl or something to use eventually. For now, it would probably be wiser to maintain some level of inventory. And maybe have some flame rounds. Because if we're doing this standard, we're going to fight the spider boss, and fire rounds would not be a bad idea. I shouldn't have used them all up. Yeah, okay. Fine, we'll do this. <coughs> Considering this battery will be used up very quickly. And I don't think there's another item box until after the spider fight. I liked the spider fight in the original game. I remember doing that blind. It was quite a bit of a dodgy game. I enjoyed that one. It was probably actually my favorite boss in the original game. Even though now I know how easily and quickly it could be killed off now 
All right, is a hunter going to appear here? I'm not prepared for it. Well, I guess I sort of am, but. Oh, gosh. Knowledge of the original actually made me afraid. Because <laughs> there was a hunter there in the original when you start heading back to the courtyard to get into the underground. These dogs are not worth my time. <sighs> Curses. I have to use it from below first. Let go! Man, do I hate these dogs. Honestly, it's not too big of a deal if I die. I did absolutely nothing productive so far. And maybe I can handle the beginning part of what I did this video a little better if I die. Just taking our path. Alright, get ready. We're gonna get attacked by snakes, and you know what? They're not as easy to avoid in this one. Yeah, see? They're a lot more accurate. In the original, you could just keep running and running and you'll be fine. Not exactly the case here. I'll oh, shoot the dogs. There's more dogs down here, I believe. Yeah. They're probably still here. Great. Alright, we'll do our best to ignore them because they are a real pain to even kill. Alright, hurry. Wrong item. There. Good. Hurry before they attack me again. <clears throat> then use the crane. I am poisoned, so I should probably backtrack to get a blue herb right now, actually. Actually? No. Let's use the crane first, and then we can put it away in inventory. Yeah. Good, they were on that side. They were being perfectly obedient. Exactly as they should be. And I really don't want to waste shotgun ammo on them. I'd much rather save them. Because even though I'm heading to the courtyard, I know I'm still a bit farther away from the end of the game than I would be in the original. Fade to black. All right, fine. We can cheat. Oh, and they let you know the sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. I guess they didn't think it was clear enough in the original, which I remember being a little confused at this part when I played the original. I did figure it out, though. I, I used logical deduction and reasoning. All right, but yeah. Now let's actually get rid of the poison. By getting a blue herb. Cause screw it, first aid sprays don't actually get rid of poison in this game. Actually, I think I'll use my combo green blue herb since I am on yellow. Might as well. I'm making do with my situation. Poison is a slow killer. I'm pretty sure that yellow was actually more from the dog bite I got earlier than the poison. Now the question is, do I want to bring ink ribbons? Because there's a typewriter before the boss, but there is no item box. So I actually question what I want to do there. Let's let's just use this up. There we go. Perfect. Do I want ink ribbons? I don't know.
How many have I got? Where is my ink ribbon set? I've got four. No, I haven't done that much. We don't need to save beforehand. I should be more than prepared for what lies ahead. It's funny, even though I feel like I'm still doing a decent enough pace, I'm actually always still somewhat concerned about ink ribbons. In all the other Resident Evil games, I could easily get up to 10 at some point, even on a first playthrough. That's not happening with this one. It really feels like the amount of saves in this game are quite limited compared to the, all the previous installments. Meaning you really gotta know what you're doing. I don't know, maybe easier modes still give you double. I don't know. Like, the training mode in Resident Evil Director's Cut, I know, does that. Because I once watched my cousin play this game when I was trying to get her into horror, and which she is into horror now, for sure. And, yeah, it doubled the ink ribbons, meaning it was just about impossible to lose your saves. Entirely. Alright, well, we're almost in the courtyard, at least. I mean, underground. Hopefully there's a map right away, like there was in the original. And that won't make me do anything special to get it. Well, I hate you. Let's just hurry. Man, why'd they make this so long? There. We're going underground. We're gonna meet Barry Burden, and he's gonna be amazing. did put an item box here well I'll be darned that is a nice convenience and they put ink ribbons here too sweet I should hopefully be fine right now but hey now I'm up to seven all right all right I feel confident in myself again I can afford to use some acid rounds now. Outside of a couple hunters, what else is there to do? Outside of maybe that girl thing. I don't know if she counts as alive or not, though. Where's Barry? Oh, I really hope I didn't make any mistakes. I really thought I'd be seeing Barry by now. What's over here? Barry! I am actually a little concerned. Where's Barry? Where's Barry? Okay. Barry's supposed to be here. I didn't do something wrong, did I? Barry, where are you? This isn't funny anymore. The shaft. Okay, Barry, come on out. You've had your fun, but it's time to get serious. What is this? Oh boy, handgun ammo, my treat. I don't like this anymore. Some sort of key to start the power supply. Someone's a carved in the side. All right. Oh. Four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. Forty, two, thirty, one. I'm gonna have to know that for something. I'm paranoid. Where's Barry? Where is Barry? I don't like this anymore. Alright, screw it. Give me my grenade launcher. 
Why haven't I seen Barry? I'm so concerned right now. Anyways, let's talk to Enrico. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> Rico! Traitor? Who? Now, I know in the original game, if you get to Unrico when you're alone, that means Barry dies. You have no idea how much that concerns me. Well, anyways, yes, I'll take the crank. Alright, am I gonna get attacked by a hunter? I'm so concerned. It's probably gonna be... Hunter! I knew it! I knew it! This happened with Chris in the original, but there's no reason the remake wouldn't subvert my expectations. And it did. Why did I not see Barry anywhere? Why? Oh, I'm worried he's gonna die now. I'm worried I might die first, though. Four, two, three, one. Maybe I should put that shaft away for now. I don't know. I can put it back. I'm not sure if I need that for anything else. Four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. This bull just gonna try and kill me right now. So we just gotta run. Fudge. <sighs> uh. Look, as far as I'm concerned, I don't need the acid rounds for much else. I might as well use them on the hunters while I still have to deal with them. Okay, um... I'm feeling very uncertain about myself right now. Combine the handgun ammo. Where's my handgun ammo? I haven't touched the handgun in so long. Alright, um... Alright, um... Do I want to save? I don't know. I'm feeling unsure about myself right now, and I've got seven saves. Let's save. Okay, um... All right, if I mess up getting the ending, my fate here is sealed. I'm trying to save space my memory card for Chris's scenario and Resident Evil Zero. So, if I screwed anything up, my fate is sealed. And that's going to have to do it for this video. Next video, we're, we're going to go to the spider boss, Black Tiger. Um, until then, this has been TailsFan109, and have a nice day.